uh, 2016, mate, when you look back at the year, what stands out to you most from it? Uh, definitely um, NRL game, 100%. It was a um, big moment in my life, big moment in my career, footy career so far, definitely the biggest. And um, it was good to get that under my belt coming in 2017. Hopefully, yeah, see how it goes. When you, like when you sat down at the start of 2016, did you think it would be a year that you'd be making your debut? No, I didn't really think too much about it. Didn't really think it would be on the cards. I hoped, of course, but I just tried to play as well as I could in 20s and cup and see how I went and got my crack in. I'm not sure what round was, but against Bulldogs and tried my best and just went with it for the rest of the year. Talk to us about that week, I guess, how was that kind of leading into the game? Were there nerves at all? Oh, definitely. Definitely a lot of nerves. Um, oh, I sort of couldn't believe it when JT told me first up and then had to just meant to be mentally prepare coming into the game. And oh, I was on game day, I just felt like a dream, like surreal. And coming off the bench, going to the field, just adrenaline took over and just played my normal footy game and yeah, it was good. How did you find, kind of obviously the Bulldogs are a pretty big team, how did you find kind of tackling those big guys? Oh, definitely some big boys. Uh, I just, I don't know, tackle like I normally would and cuff and stuff and try to hit as hard as I could. But um, yeah, they had some big boys and it was a big test yeah. first off. Do you think kind of having that game helps you now coming into 2017? I guess giving you a bit more confidence but maybe taking a bit of pressure off as well? Yeah, definitely a bit of pressure off. Um, yeah, you always look at your first game in NRL as like the biggest and having that under my belt, yeah, it takes a little bit of pressure off. I just had to just have to think about the year coming, get as much work as I've done in pre-season and going into 2017 trying to see how much games I can play. Uh, yeah. Again, in the, obviously in the full-time squad here, how have you found pre-season training this time around? Oh. Always feels tough over a year. <laughs> um, yeah, it's hundred like a lot more fitness, I think. But uh, do you feel fitter? Yeah, I feel fitter. I feel stronger than I was last year. A um, lot more work on my game personally, and around skills and a lot more lifting in the gym. Yeah, definitely. Hopefully, I get improvements out of it. Uh, talk to us, mate, as a hooker, obviously you kind of work with the spine a lot. What's it been like working with, with Mitch and Brooks and Teddy? Oh, you definitely learn a lot, lot off the boys. Like, they're just their confidence even helps, like, gives you confidence and you just work off that and they help you, me out and I try and give it as good service as I can. <laughs> but, um, yeah, they're just, yeah, it's good. Yeah. And I guess you're one of kind of three hookers here at the moment with Matt Balliner and Matt McKilrick. Uh, obviously two experienced guys at different parts of their career. What's it been like working with them? Oh, you, you learn bits and pieces off them too. And especially Matty Ballin, with all the experience he has under his belt. He helps me out too, gives me time. And I try and learn things off him. And um, hopefully teach him a few things too. Right? <laughs> uh, JT's always had a high praise for you, particularly after your debut. I guess, how have you found kind of, you know, him as a coach and, and the coaching staff here at the club? Yeah, he's a great coach. He knows a lot about the footy. He's helped me out a lot with my game. Like, yeah, definitely around the ruck and in attack and with defence. And, um, yeah, he gives me a lot of time. It's been good, yeah. And now, I guess, as you kind of look to the year ahead, obviously being there in round one is the goal and being there in round 26 is, is the goal as well. What kind of needs to happen between now and then to make sure you're there for round one? Oh, just working on my game and trying to build up and get prepared for these big boys in the NRL and um, hopefully, yeah, I just, I just try and yeah, work on my game, I guess, try and improve. Definitely a lot of improvements to do to get there. Yeah, see how it goes. What would make it a successful year? Oh, just play my best footy and definitely hopefully get a few games up in NRL as much as I can as much as they put me up there and just trying to stay there if I can or make my way into the team, it'll be good. So I'll go.